Hey everyone, welcome back to The Wood Shop. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today, we're going to be talking about something that really sucks. We're going to be talking about our dust collection vacuum system. All right, so our dust collector is hooked up to a series of four inch pipes. This is a PVC pipe. You can use pretty much any kind of material, but ours is PVC. At the bottom of the PVC pipe, next to a tool, is a blast gate. And this blast gate is made out of wood. We made these in our wood shop. And on the blast gate has a micro limit switch. This is the interesting part, because we've wired this in a way where you, if you open the blast gate, it turns on the dust collector. And underneath the blast gate, there's a four inch corrugated pipe that goes to the specific tool. Let's take a look at the different tools that are in the wood shop that have the blast gate on them. I've got a little slide here and my wife helped me put it together in a way that's organized and hopefully you guys can follow along. If you feel free, you can copy this and you maybe take a screenshot or something and uh, recreate it in your own way. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let's jump right into the slide. All right, so things you're going to need and it looks like you're going to need, well, I've got the mouse up here, 12 gauge, 20 amp, three prong power cord. And you can just go ahead and either buy it from a hardware store or take it off of something else that you know is a 20 amp and three prong. Solid state relay. I got mine on Amazon for I think um, 12 bucks. They have cheaper options, but I went with the uh, mid grade. Solid state relay. You can uh, put that in Amazon and hopefully find one. Any one I, I, I'd assume will work. Telephone wire, 22 gauge. I bought 100 feet for like um, six bucks, but I think you can buy, it just depends on how big your wood shop is. Actually, I take it back. I think I bought 300 feet for um, six bucks. And uh, just depending on how big your wood shop is, that's going to determine how much telephone wire you're gonna need. Micro limit switches, you can also find these on Amazon. Just type in micro limit switch and we'll get to what those look like in a little bit light switch you're actually only going to need one and it's going to need to be a 20 amp so you can see the consistency here we've got 20 amp three prong 20 amp plus a light switch and then uh, this is supposed to be a power um, outlet I'm not sure what this is but that's supposed to be an outlet and uh, 20 amp as well so um, 20 amp 20 amp 20 amp so what you're going to need, in addition to that, is a deep electrical box. And I'll show you what that looks like again in a little. And there's going to be a video that follows this where I'm going to open up my setup and show you guys how it looks in a, an actual real life scenario. Screws and electrical tape and wire connector, um, the little plastic caps. DC phone charger charger okay so this is the the um, outline you guys can screenshot this I'm gonna walk you through this what this actually means and um, okay so right here this um, little squiggly line this is entering the deep box so imagine that all of this is contained inside of the box and then this down here the squiggly line is it exiting the deep box so this is an electrical box and it's all containing this um, wiring and these components. Okay. So here's your three prong plug. I'm going to try and walk through this slowly. Three prong plug, which goes into an outlet, any outlet, um, preferably a 20 amp outlet since you have 20 amp stuff. 
So you've got your 12 gauge wire coming into the box and you've got three wires, right? You've got one, two, three. Okay, we'll start with the ground. Green for ground. Ground is going to ground the metal box. So you get one of those green screws and you ground your box, your metal box, because you guys don't want to be foolish here. You don't want to just, if you're working with a metal box, you got to ground the box. Okay. So um, we've got our hot right here. Your hot is going to go to the bottom section of this light switch. And then the top portion of the light switch, it's going to come out of the top, come down and then you're going to have a pigtail and you're going to jump the so you're going to have two wires coming off of that you're going to twist all three of these together so one two three you're going to twist them all together put an electrical cap on that bring one hot wire to the number two of the solid state relay and another hot wire down here to the plug the lower portion of the plug okay now notice here it says break tab. This is very important because if you don't break this tab, your vacuum system will always be on, okay? So on these outlet switches, there's these little like copper tabs. You wanna grab a pair of pliers and you wanna just bend it and break it off, okay? Pretty easy to do if you have the right tool. You just grab that thing and that tab and you bend it back and forth until you break it off. Now let's cover our marks for our white which is gonna come down here, and it's gonna go into the left side of your 20 amp outlet, okay? Let's follow that white line, that white cable, and then, so what you're gonna do is break the tab, it's gonna come into the bottom, break your tab, and it's gonna come out of the top. So your, your white wire is gonna come out of the top and go into the number one spot on your solid state relay and these things are also called SSRs you can type that in Amazon too solid state relay okay so we've covered our 12 gauge wires okay let's go back here and just talk about this we've got a 12 gauge 20 amp three prong power cord and you're also going to need some extra 12 gauge wiring to do this stuff inside of the box so uh, for your power cord you can just like strip the insulator off of it and get maybe an extra foot all of this can be done within a deep well box so these are actually only like six inch lengths of wire each of them so just keep that in mind all right so this is what it looks like within the box okay remember i told you it's a deep well box and so you've got your three prong plug your light switch and then your plug okay so so that we can follow, let's go back here and let me just address one more thing. So the box, the box, the metal box is going to have a, a spot on the bottom portion. And this is where you're going to switch from. This is AC. The solid state relay transfers it to DC. Okay, so this is a direct current coming out of here. So this is where you're going to switch to your telephone wire, right? That's why we have that 22 gauge telephone wire. And I'm going to use these two colors for the continuum of this video so you can follow me. And uh, for the number three spot, you're going to want to do red wiring. Okay, so number three, red wire drops down. Number four, blue wire drops down. Okay, let's switch over to the other diagram. Okay, so you know those phone chargers that you guys have? I guess any kind of uh, DC direct power charger. It's, um, you'll see it in the video. I've got a little video that I'm gonna play what my setup is. But oftentimes you can find them with like phone chargers and stuff like that. So it's not very expensive. If you type in DC power supply in Amazon, you can get one for like six bucks. And that is going to have two cords that come out of it, okay? So you've got your red and your blue. Okay, so this is very important. If you miss a step here, your whole power um, scheme is not going to work. What will happen is you'll probably end up shorting something out and frying your SSR, okay? Your solid state relay. So you gotta make sure that this is right. So in the lower plug, you wanna put your DC power and you've got your, your blue wire 
which goes directly to your micro limit switch, the first tab. So this would be your neutral, okay? And then you're gonna jump that blue wire to the first tab of your next micro limit switch. Now this length right here can be 100 feet. It could be 1,000 feet. It doesn't matter how many feet it is, as long as you go from the first, right, your neutral right here, to the neutral right here on your next outlet and then same likewise i only put three on here for the sake of space but my blastgate system has i think 12. so this is three you can do the exact same thing with a hundred micro limit switches it's just follow this pattern look at this pattern so it's your neutral goes to the front jumps to the front jumps to the front okay and jumps to the front jumps to the front and it keeps going your hot, on the other hand, is going to connect to the blue, which let's just call this neutral, of the solid state relay. So what this does is power goes from here to your neutral. Let's go back to the other diagram. So it goes into the blue, goes into the solid state relay, which something happens here, and I'm not, I'm not really an engineer, so I don't really know what happens, but there's something that happens between the power the light switch and the solid state relay that converts the power and goes down and comes out down here and allows, so you've got your hot wire coming out of the solid state relay going into the power of the micro limit switch. So let's talk about the micro limit switch for a minute. When on the micro limit switch, there's a little tab right here that when you compress this, or when it's decompressed, it raises because there's a little spring in here. And it allows the tab right here to open up or close. So what we have this, what we have right here is an on and off switch for your vacuum system. So when you open the blast gate, open the blast gate, that little tab opens up, which therefore releases the little red button inside of there sends power to this, which therefore goes up to this outlet, which is your vacuum system. Your vacuum is going to be plugged in up here, and then your dust collection system turns on. You're done working with that tool, so you close your blast gate. It compresses that tab and then comes up here. Power is shut off, which therefore turns off your vacuum system. And then there's one last thing that I want to talk about, and this is important. With your micro limit switches, see how you've got power going to the to the um, uh, the the hot wire going to the power, coming over, jumping, going to the back right here, the back tab, jumping over, going to the back tab. One of the things you can think about is your neutral is on the front, and your hot is on the back. And notice how on the last one, you've got red on the back, so hot on the back neutral on the front so that that's just really important when you're putting your um, your micro limit switches together you want to work so the micro limit switch that's closest to the power supply should be your number one and the one that's furthest should be your um, your number 10 or number let's just say number three in this case because there's only three so you would have to run a cable to the middle one and then come to the end because you're connecting the circuit right here. You're completing the circuit with these micro limit switches. Okay, so hopefully that's crystal clear. You guys feel free to take screenshots of all of this. Like I said, if you guys like this video, this is a ver uh, very select crowd, uh, but I know there's people out there because they've been asking us about our dust collection. So if you like this video and you like our content, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button if this video speaks to you. Don't forget to be the person who's notified when we post a video. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.